Hello, I'm Ralph Cabbage, Aquaman Knox. And a few months ago, we started a series on CO2 regulators, how to pick them. There's all different versions of the series that go from how you should choose them, how what well we tested, the battery of things we put these regulators through. We purchased over 20 regulators from all over the world, some not even available in every part of the world. And now we're finally to the point to get you to the top five regulators uh, for CO2 planted aquariums. First of all, we went through lots of regulators, everything from $34 up to $400. We looked at everything from the company behind the brands, can you get them warrantied, how they function, droop, drift, tank dump, how easy they are to set, will they hold their own, um, all the different features involved, can you use them on all different size tanks. And now we're finally to our runners up before we do our top five. The first runner-up is the Omnibus Regulator by Up Aqua. This is the A168 Regulator. And let's just stop right there. This is not a regulator. So what's interesting about this, this is a high pressure valve that can be used side mount, top mount, and small bottle mount. And under the, under the, the, the guise of See, any CO2 is better than no CO2. This has to make our rankings. At only $34, once you set it, doesn't matter what the pressure of the tank is, it'll stay. You won't get tank dump. It has a good valve. It's much better than the basic valves you get in some of the kits. Disadvantage is you can't upgrade it, uh, but it does get someone an entry-level valve that they're not spending a lot of money on, and they can always go up to a better one later. So that had to make it best on price point. So this would be a compact, uh, good category uh, regulator. Next up in the runner-up category, um, it would be a pro full-size pro level regulator. That would be the carbon doser. The carbon doser has to be in our list just because it is a patented product and is a little unique, but it's not, it didn't make our top five because it's bulky, it's big, it doesn't fit on every single tank. The brass valve that uh, regulator that's included is not the best it could be. There are better ones on the market. It does have its unique, um, way of dosing CO2, but it, it has a click. And we didn't find it, it really was that much of a better setting than some of the upper end pro level. And because this is a $400 pro level regulator, it needs to be mentioned because of its uniqueness and the patent is held by someone in the United States, but it didn't make our top five list. Next up is the A165 regulator by Up Aqua. This is a full size, better classification of regulator. And the reason it made our list is for a few reasons. First, it has the very best solenoid valve from our test. It runs the coolest, 120 volts grounded, and it has a weatherproof seal. Second, this is the widest range of pressure of any regulator we had as far as the setting. So you can run a wider range of pressure on this model than anything else. It has a solid brass construction along with plated brass. The scuba shop love this regulator. I have to mention when we took the regulators to the scuba shop to look at, the gauges are easy to read, but remember, this regulator has to be side mounted and with all of these regulators that have a wide range of pressure, you wanna make sure that your regulator's set all the way down. That's opposite way you normally would do it, but set it all the way down when you engage the tank. Otherwise, you can peg these gauges and ruin them if you have the pressure turned this way and all the way up. So that's the Up Aqua Brass uh, Dual Gauge Regulator, side mount. Next up is the Up Aqua A-152. The A-152 makes our list because it's compact, it's in the better category, the price point is nice, comes with a high quality needle valve made in Taiwan. It can be used with all tank types, so that is nice. Again, 
uh, up aqua's best in class from our test solenoid valve is included didn't make our top pick because they make a version like this with a dual gauge so we put that uh, higher up on the list but this is a quality regulator with safety dump valves and features that you will appreciate at a price point in this level next up is a hydro aquatics single stage piston balance pop it design regulator this is a heavy lot of metal in this regulator and it performed as well as a whole lot of the regulators that were smaller compact and dual stage so it was an excellent regulator with a rotating valve it has a pressure uh got grommeted fitting for weather resistance on the solenoid a brass dump and pressure relief valve for safety the gauges are excellent the weight is nice the finish is perfect this is a great regulator it is in the 149 dollar price point Our first runner-up to the top five category, it would be the CO2 Art Pro SE. Of course, CO2 Art would put this in their Pro category. Uh, we would not. We would put their version up from this in the Pro category that has the manifold. So for our test, the Pro SE is a it's a full-size best category. It is a unique body, uh, small dual stage regulator it is a german company now remember german company does not mean all german parts because this does not use all german parts it uses parts from all over the world but it doesn't rotate uh, can only be used on side mount has a, a decent solenoid valve the gauges are black some people like those i prefer white but they're nice it did hold its pressure well and it's fairly easy to adjust. Again, it's small, wouldn't put it in our pro level for our rating system. Instead, it would be uh, full size best. Uh, we gave this three and a half stars, which we were very tough on all of these regulators, but this is a good regulator in the $150 uh, to $160 price point. Now, the model up from this has a longer warranty. They add a a, a dumping port and a manifold system uh, are, we, it performed similar to this one just with a couple of added features but it jumps up into the $270 price range so that's the CO2 art coming in as our first runner-up if you will now the top five in number five we have the omnibus a171 regulator from up aqua this product is in our uh, compact good category. So in the compact good category, this is our pick, and there are reasons for that. It has a fixed pressure inlet, uh, so you always have a fixed pressure. Uh, you don't have to worry about pinging out the gauges. This is a great basic regulator. In the up mount position, which this can be top mount, you used uh, paintball or side mount, you can add a solenoid valve and you can also add an on unit bubble counter the needle valve worked fairly well and we had an easy job getting this set at this price point in the um, 65 dollar range you can't go wrong so it is our best pick in three stars and our recommended number five regulator in our top five At number four in our compact better category is a Taiwan made regulator from Up Aqua. This is similar to one of the models that was in our um, runner up, but this brings in the dual gauge, still best in class weather resistant solenoid valve, a needle valve that's brass and easy to adjust. Does not come with a bubble counter, but can be used on all tank types, and it has a um, pressure relief valve built right into it for safety. So we've used this a lot in a lot of the aquascaping setups that we've had throughout the years. And when we tested it for drift uh, or, and all the things you're concerned about tank dump, none of those were an issue uh, with this regulator once it's set. The solenoid valve again, best in class, low temperature valve, and that is the Up Aqua A-151, which comes in at about $125. That's our number four pick in the uh, compact better category, Up Aqua. 
Next up, at number three in the compact best category is the Hydra Aquatics Universal Regulator. This has a lot of features in similar regulators, but they've added some things that make it very nice. First of all, you've got a sealed grommeted um, port, so you don't have to worry about uh, moisture like some of the other models. It's a fairly low heat solenoid valve, and with the exception of the um, Up Aqua model, it is it was the, one of the cooler running. Brass, multi-port dump, dump port there for safety easy to adjust, rotatable housing, and can be used side, top, and paintball mount. With a three-year warranty and at $149, this is our pick in the compact best category. Next up is the compact pro category, and this is one of my favorite categories. It's important because we wanted to find a regulator that was small, could be used in a lot of applications, but didn't sacrifice the adjustability and the safety that some of the models in that category do. For example, you can find some models that are really inexpensive on Amazon that would claim to be in this category, and they just simply are not. They don't have the safety, they don't have the company behind them. Uh, one or two of them were in our tests, and we put them on the absolutely don't buy list uh, for those reasons. However, this model right here stood out. Hydro Aquatics Pro with GLA version, uh, GLA version with, a, with their model with a solenoid valve. These are available in lots of configurations without, with solenoid valve. The solenoid valve on the Hydro Aquatics use the compression uh, type solenoid valve, but the regulator itself is very unique. It is a true dual stage regulator. It has a good gauge and it has adjustability just like you would expect in a dual stage regulator. The elongated body is because you've got one regulator here and one regulator here. So you get all the benefits of a dual stage but you can mount it side, top, and then all different tank types. This performed very well in our tests and you'll be very happy with this in the pro category. We gave this four stars and they range depending on configuration from two to $250 depending on where you buy them. So the Hydro Aquatics and the GLA models we com together we combined into our uh, compact pro category and we think you'll like these regulators. Next up is the full size pro category regulator. And from what our test showed, there really was hands down one of the best. Now I'm showing you two here, but these are variations uh, of the Hydra model and there's some other similar to this on the market, but there's variations here. One of them, and we, and we just wanted to pull the trigger and buy the all brass, it's heavy, all brass model. And we also bought the stainless steel model. Both are significantly more expensive, but these are, they're works of art. They're very nice regulators. They have long warranties all the safety features you expect, the dump valve, the grommeted solenoid valve, excellent gauges, true, long, full-size dual regulators to get you your dual stages. Once these are set, you don't have to worry about them. They're set and forget. The manifold version in aluminum is my pick. Most likely when you're gonna buy a regulator that's dual stage at this quality, you're gonna to wanna to put multiple ports on there and this you can set a higher, little bit higher PSI and run your multiple ports. This is by far my favorite pick of the regulators. Now it is only side mount. These are not compact. You get what you pay for. This regulator weighs more than any of the other regulators. It has more steel in it, it's bigger, it's beefier, it's safer, and it has more precision. So this is the pro level regulator that we recommend as our top pick for full size uh, pro level regulators. I'm Ralph Cabbage, Aquaman Knox. Please subscribe to my channel and follow me. You'll see the whole series on each of these broken down individually where you can see our tests, there's three versions of this. All the information will appear 
We are putting a blog up on one of the websites. The link will be that down below, which will show all the detailed lists and specifications for everything we did. And next up, we'll be testing some more pumps and we'll be working on a bunch more reviews for you, taking stuff apart, breaking it, fixing it, and telling you what to expect and what you should buy. Have a great day.